So you fucked up. And now you're sitting here with a broken bumper. It's winter time. You slid into some rocks or a deer. And your plastic bumper just downright exploded into pieces. Well, this is the poor man's way of fixing that. So we're going to plastic weld these. I already started right there. All you need is some sort of wire. You could probably use staples or something like that. Butane torch. Most people would have this in their garage. And uh, a couple snips. Alrighty. This is how I'm going about this, y'all. So I am taking our copper wire, cutting off a little piece right here. This stuff's super easy to bend around. Here. I'm gonna try and give my pliers two spots to press onto. That's what we got. Get it red hot, just like that. Once you get it nice and red hot, get close. Turn it in to the plastic there. As you can see where we have done though, we have good penetration. Some of the spots that obviously didn't penetrate, but I just wanted to show you guys how durable it is. Like it is really, really attached. Nice and seamless. Look at what this side looks like. All right, y'all, here's the stitch job we did here. As you can see, it's perfectly lined. So it looks like on the other side. You can see there's barely nothing there. Filled that with Bondo, you could easily sand it and paint it and no one would ever know. All right, I put this little piece in the corner back now. Some interesting shapes to get to both ends there, but I found that just curving it to the right curve and then once it's red hot, it would press right in there. The whole piece is back. I can pick up the whole thing from it, whatever. It's just one piece now. We have a third piece that we need to put back together here, just like that. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll show you guys our results. All right guys, I'm in that, that piece stitched on. This is what we're looking like. Alrighty y'all, so what I've done here is I've placed the piece of broken bumper back where she goes, roughly, roughly, and clear taped it. One piece of tape there, one piece of tape there, just holding it in place. Now I'm gonna start on this end with hot staples from the back, hot stitches, whatever you wanna call them, and I'm gonna pull the body panel and align it as I go. All right, I'm gonna keep you updated, but yeah, so, this is kind of what it's looking like post-accident. As you can see, there's a big crack right here that I need to, need to fix. And over here, we just have this guy. All right, y'all. So when it comes down to the side of your bumper here and doing this, obviously, the best thing would be to take your bumper off when you do this. But here, this is my results here. As you can see, very sturdy. It's all one piece now. I took longer pieces of this, longer than this, twisted these just like this, just so I could have a ball tip here and a stronger support on this side. Grabbed it with the pliers, shaped the ball tip however I needed. I put the torch just right here facing out don't face it in you'll burn stuff heat it up get the right angle and then I would just come in from the opposite side with the pliers push it on in it is difficult to get started but once you get the hang of it it's not that hard and yeah these are the results it's on there sturdy alrighty y'all and this is this is the after of math after fixing from the accident.
Like freaking magic, y'all. How can you believe that? <sighs> and I'm still working on the windshield here. Waiting for that super glue fully set. <laughs> but yeah. Alright, no big deal, y'all. She's back together.